Well, I'm here. I just sure thought I'd show you um, what I bring ferreting with me. Now, I always bring a spade with me, um, a long handled spade, and I always bring a bull nose short spade as well. Especially if you've got overhanging trees, it uh, just makes it a lot easier than holding it up there. You can actually get down in there without you know, wrecking all your hands, to be honest with you. Um, obviously, you've got your collars. Um, I'm using the Mark III, um, as you can see. So I use the Mark III and the collars there as well. So I always make sure I check the batteries, um, make sure they're all working okay. I bring out with me around about 25 nets. Um, I always bring out as well first aid kit, just in case, especially if you're working these scrubs as well. You know, it's really, really sharp. You've got thorns. Um, so, you know, so it's always worth just carrying the first aid kit with you. Now, depending on how long I'm going out for, I always bring a little bit of ferret food with me as well. Um, and I always bring a drink of water out for them as well. Because if they've been out for a couple of hours, you know, at the end of the day, they, they don't want to drink. So, good ad bring some water with you, bring you a little bit of food and a first aid kit. Um, a couple of spades, different lengths, which does help, trust me, it really, really does help. Um, a good carry box as well, uh, make sure there's plenty of room, I find the barrel box one's a lot better. And a very important thing as well is make sure you're wearing good, good warm clothing as well. Something that you can move then, um, you don't want something that's too tight or that waterproof it's cardboard so you can't actually move any so get something that's breathable but waterproof and it's going to keep you warm as well so that's basically it now i'm going to pack up the um, pack up the nets in the sun and i don't